It happened again today. I had one of these yard birds that wanted to go ahead and get into this verbal argument about the word investor. If you're an investor, and if you don't believe me, look it up. An investor is a person or company that puts money into a financial scheme, hoping to make a profit. That's an investor. Now, an entrepreneur is someone that starts a company bearing more financial risk. Let's go ahead and keep it honest. Being an investor is sexy. I'm an investor. I got a little money over here working. One of the reasons that you're never going to be financially successful is you don't know the language of money. If you are actively working in your business, you're an entrepreneur. You're not an investor. Why? Investors deploy capital. Let's take the real estate business. What is a hard learned money lender? It is someone that deploys capital to a real estate entrepreneur. You wanna flip this house? We're gonna deploy the money to you. We're gonna put 10 points on it. We're gonna charge you 15 to 18% interest because they're putting their money to work. Investors, their hands stay clean. Their hands don't get dirty. But as an entrepreneur, your hands, you're up to your neck in mud. And I got all of these yard birds, these clowns, and then y'all want to be disrespectful. But you know what's funny? I'm about to flex. None of you who are having these feminine conversations, because they're extremely feminine, because you jealous of my success. Yeah, I said it, because that's what it is. Every time I want to have these conversations, the people want to go like, I'm an investor. I'm an investor. You don't have no money. How are you going to be an investor? You don't have no money. And this is one of the biggest mind tricks, mind hustles on the internet. I can be a real estate investor. I can be investing and only make $35,000 a year. You don't have enough capital to be an investor. You can invest your money, but you cannot be a big dog investor unless you got millions or you know a few hundred thousand dollars that you can deploy into an enterprise or a financial scheme and sit back and hope to achieve in a profit. At that point, you're an investor. If you're doing more than that, you're not an investor. And I've had all of these feminine men who want to go ahead and argue. You know, this is what's really interesting. None of you guys want to ever talk business. Tonight, I did a webinar talking about the things that you need to do with marketplace development, finding your audience. Y'all don't even know how to have that conversation with your investor self. Because see, here's the thing. People are operating on fantasy. I went ahead and invested $50 on this stock. I'm an investor. Technically, you are an investor. But are you an investor of significance? No, you're not. And I feel that we need to stop trying to be sexy and we need to get realistic and practical because everyone I want to have these conversations with y'all always get disrespectful and you get it booted from the plantation each and every time and see the fact that you want to be disrespectful because I'm a person that has a business I'm a person that has a holding company this is public record I got receipts all over the place yet I'm having a conversation with a nameless, faceless coward who wants to get disrespectful because he's tired of living in his mama's basement. He tired of his mama saying, Ed, take the trash out. Cause he don't have no business. He has no employee. He has no money. So for all you folks who feel that you can deploy a little bit of money and that makes you an investor, if that makes you sleep better at night, have it. But I'm here to tell you, you're not really doing big boy investing. You're not gonna be doing big boy investing unless you're putting tens of thousands, like uh, Hood Estates is a Facebook friend of mine, and they put together a syndicate where some people went in, invested and purchased his truck. Those people who invested in that truck are investors. Why they're investors? They put money into the financial scheme and they extract a profit out. They're not doing the work. If you are doing the work, Elon Musk is not an investor in his own company. Elon Musk has had a public breakdown. He's had a mental break. Don't sound like he's an investor. Elon Musk is up to his eyeballs in the business. He's working. He's doing what he needs to do to go ahead and keep Tesla and SpaceX. Uh, I think he does these things with solar panels. I think that's another one of his companies. Dude had a mental breakdown. You think the investors in this company had mental breakdown? No, they chilling. We're going to let Elon handle that. So let, let's just get it for the break. If you are in, working in the business, if you're doing things, if you're management, 
You're not an investor. I know that sounds sexy to call yourself an investor. I know it sounds better than the reality is. You're just a founder. And founders, because I went ahead and pulled up a list of the top 50 richest people in the world, and none were investors. And this is where this conversation came from. Because yes, these companies have people who have bought stock. Those people who have bought stock in the company are investors. The people, Jeff Bezos is not an investor in Amazon. He is a founder. He's not an investor. And you little feminine men, because there's always some feminine man that wants to get the nomenclature of something sexy. I'm an investor. So next time you meet Big Booty Betty, you can whisper in there, baby, I'm an investor. That's right. And hope she get wet. You're deluding yourself. Going back to practicality, going back to working. In my webinar tonight, we got down with the things that you need to do to start a successful company. And essentially, this is stuff that no one talks about because it's tedious, it's hard, it takes time, it takes attention, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a great deal of energy and hoospa. Like one of my things, let's go ahead and talk about a real business tag, email. Social media is hot and social media can get you customers, but a good email marketing campaign can make you more money than social media. We don't talk about that. It's like email is so yesterday. Email is today. Go ahead and check your email box. Anytime that you buy something from an e-commerce website and they get your email, how many times do they email you? Sometimes they email you daily. Sometimes they email you multiple times per day. Why? Because the math is the more emails you send, the more money you make. And this is why I send out emails five to seven days a week. Because the more emails I send out, the more money I make. It's just facts as they say in these internet streets. But that's a real business tactic from an entrepreneur. An investor will be looking at what I'm doing as an entrepreneur, and they'll be looking at my statements to see if I'm making money and if it's worthwhile investing their hard-earned money with me. See, an investor is a totally different animal than an entrepreneur. But as I put in my list, and so many of you like, investors make more money than founders. No, they don't. Put the top in my community section on the community tab. I put the top 50 wealthiest people in the world and every last one of them wealth derives from a business. Every last one of them. But see, being an investor is so sexy. It's so sexy. You can tell this to Big Booty Betty. You can tell it to Sexy Slim Susan. I'm an investor to make yourself appear to be greater than you really are when you are nobody. You ain't nobody. Cause this clown, this yard bird I was having this conversation with, they got booted from the plantation cause he got disrespectful. That's the first thing that these feminine men do is they get disrespectful. They start the name calling cause they feel that they're right. Just like this fool who was like, if I was making 90 to $150,000 a month, I wouldn't be wasting my time making videos on YouTube. The massive level of ignorance that was revealed by that statement is staggering. Once again, for the people who join the corporate toolbox, I'm going to put the YouTube course in there and I'm going to put the paid traffic course in there because these are going to be things that you're going to need to drive your businesses forward. I don't talk about all this sexy stuff, Forex, day trading, Amazon FBA. What is the gist of all of these things? That you can do a little bit and yield a large return. That is the seductive appeal to all of these things. You can roll out of bed at, in the morning, kiss big booty Betty, goodbye, go in your office, trade for an hour or two, then come out, make, like once again, I went ahead and told you the math. If you wanna make 30, 40, $50,000 for the market, you're gonna need a very large trading account with several hundred thousand dollars in it, if not two or three million. And this is stuff that no one ever talks about because we don't want to take some of that sex appeal off of this stuff. And this is why so many people get scammed every day buying these courses that are not going to make them a damn bit of money. Ain't going to make no money because they, they're going for the sexiness. I'm an investor. I'm a trader. I'm doing this. And you don't have no money. Even the successful low grade traders, they're not making as much money as a business owner. And this is what I'm trying to impress on you. Let the investor stuff go because until you get some money, 
until you are in the position where you can say, hey, here company X, here's $100,000. And also you're in the position where if you lose that $100,000, you're still good. That's one of the parts about being an investor. I've got people on me every day trying to get me to invest in their companies. And I'm just not gonna do it because I'm not an investor. I don't really care about being called an, an investor. I don't give a rat's ass about being called an investor. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a hustler. I make my money. I don't really care about all that stuff. I don't care about the nomenclature. I'm Glendon Cameron, president of Savage Finance. That's who I am. Works for me, works for anyone that I do business with, works very well. But you got so many people out here who are looking, because once again, the big problem is you're lazy. You're trying to extract a larger value out of a proposition than that exists. Until you get some money, you can't be an investor. Until you get some money. Like you can invest on a small level, like you put two, 300 bucks into the stock market. Technically, you are an investor when you do that. But are you making any money from your investments? Are you getting good returns? Are the returns juicy? Something you can sink your teeth in? Mm -mm. So you would be better off starting a business, being an entrepreneur, being a founder, and getting value to extract cash out of the marketplace versus being, quote, an investor. There are some investors who are worth billions, but they're old, they're white, and they ain't you. <laughs> they ain't you. I mean, y'all kill me with this, I'm an investor stuff because you're too lazy, and I'm gonna say it, too stupid to know the difference between an investor and an entrepreneur when you have the Google machine that will tell you explicitly what it is. An investor invests money and sits back and wait for the returns. If you ain't doing that, you're not an investor. And I, I have these conversations more than likely with people who don't even own businesses, who don't even have money at work in an investment. You're just so in love with the term, I'm an investor. That's right, big booty Betty. Daddy's an investor. Let that go. Your ego is ridiculous because you got this big old ego in this empty wallet. It's kind of funny when I, when I think about it because there's so many of you who want to come in the comment sections and you want to press your invalid point, which can be knocked down with facts, data points, and proof, and you will still cling. Just like these women who want to date a man that's six foot two and only like 10% of the world is six foot two. You like that. You just like a woman. You just like a woman. Like, I don't care about the statistics. I don't care about the facts. I want me a dude that's six foot two. And I'm gonna get him too. And then you're gonna end up to being one of these 57 year old women who's going on the sugar baby websites. <laughs> Woo! I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. The delusion is real. So if you, are not deluded if you're practical and you want to make some money and get on this one to three year journey of starting your business, starting your holding company, go below and become a member of the corporate toolbox. I'll teach you how to put together your holding strategy, which is tax efficient, and I will teach you how to start and run a company. Because right now we're in the early stages. Because I'm just going to, like I told the class tonight, the holding company entity stuff that's super simple compared to the complexities of the things that you need to do to get customers and to get money in your company. And that's what we're going to be working on for the next few months. So go ahead, go below, get the corporate toolbox, and I will see you in the classroom. If you ain't a, one of these fake ass investors who are running around here perpetrating on YouTube because they got like $2,000 in the stock market. I'm, like, I'm an investor, baby. You still broke. You still don't have no money. You still don't have no cash flow. It's laughable. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video.